Hi, second grade. This is Miss Geisen from Mays Elementary, and I am back with you again to talk to you a little bit about science. And uh, Miss Conrad went over life cycles with you about um, the life cycles of a butterfly. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit about the life cycle of a dragonfly and a grasshopper because both of those insects um, only go through three stages of the life cycle instead of the four that you um, learned about with Miss Conrad. Um, so really quick, we're going to go over some vocabulary words, some of which you may have heard um, with Miss Conrad and some that might be new. Um, the first stage of um, the life cycle of the dragonfly that's also in your science textbook on page 390 um, is the egg. An adult female dragonfly lays eggs um, in the water. The second stage is called a nymph. A nymph hatches from that egg. So if you hear the word nymph, it is a young version of that animal. So a nymph can be a young dragonfly or in a minute, um, we also call a young grasshopper a nymph. It looks a lot like his parents and uh, actually dragonfly nymphs live and grow in the water. In the last stage is the adult, and right here, this is an adult um, dragonfly, and they can live on land. Uh, it has strong wings, and that it, it can reproduce and start the life cycle over by laying the eggs, the eggs turning into a nymph, and then becoming an adult dragonfly. So we're going to take just a second away from the book, and uh, we're going to talk about a grasshopper, because it also goes through the same three stages. It starts as an egg, it then turns into a nymph, which is just a smaller version of the adult, and then it grows into the adult. So this one has less stages, so it's a little bit um, more of a simple process than the one you learned about with Miss um, Conrad. So just really quick, I'm just going to um, do just a little graph with you really quick. This is something you could do on your own. You could get a piece of paper. You could start out by drawing your the eggs. Then you could draw your nymph. And then you could draw your adult. And then you could write the stages underneath it and then go back and color, be creative. I'm sure you guys can draw a grasshopper a lot better than I can. And then you could even add some arrows to show that this life cycle continues. That it will start as an egg, turn into a nymph, then grow into an adult, and then that adult will lay eggs and start the process back over again. I hope you guys learned a lot. You can always um, find some more. There are some activities in your book that you can do about um, the life cycle of a dragonfly. There are some activities right here where you can circle um, animals that hatch from eggs. You can read through these and even order the life cycle of a um, ladybug. And then there's also a word play where you are going to use some of the words that you've learned in the last two lessons, and you're going to draw a line to match the definition. We love you guys. We miss you. And we can't say, wait to see your sweet faces um, very soon.